Greetings. What I'm going to be making today, it's not really electronics, um, but what it is, is I'm trying to improve my macro setup. So, you know, if uh, I've shown before, I've been using this little lens that I, if I just put it in front of my camera uh, that I'm recording this with, it allows the camera to focus, uh, focus a lot closer and for something that normally is out of all it is in focus now but uh, say on a large zoom I've shown that before just so I used to attach this with just you can see you can get a much uh, better magnification uh, when I when I put this camera in front of uh, this lens in front of the camera, but uh, what I've been doing, I've been attaching this with just a little piece of white tack uh, and sticking it on to the front of the camera, which is inconvenient, uh, a bit dangerous because I have to apply the pressure onto the moving uh, uh, lens uh, assembly of the camera, and uh, it's not ideal. Uh, what I want, um, what, what I wanted to do is something that would hold the lens uh, on the camera uh, but just in case the camera lens retracts um, I want this to be uh, loose enough to so it falls off and doesn't damage the mechanism uh, the camera's got the um, that telescopic type of lens and uh, I could show you but I haven't got a mirror and I'm recording with that camera anyways so what I've got here is uh, just a piece of foam like arts and crafts type of foam uh, it came out of a box with something I can't remember what and um, what I'm thinking is if I cut out a nice little um, circle with the exact diameter of the um, of the lens then another one slightly bigger and I'll make this into a mounting thing uh, for for the lens and then I'll do a strip around just the right size like this that's going to catch on and by fr just by tiny friction it should hold nicely on the camera and um, then that should uh, that should work I think so first what I have to do is to measure up how how big the objective or how big the camera is so bear with me uh, let's zero this out, there we go. Now, I might wobble the camera a little bit, so sorry for that. There we go, so it's... Well, we can call it exactly 30 millimeters. So what I need is exactly 30 millimeters circle uh, that I should be able to cut out from the foam so for this to be able to draw on the foam I'm just going to take a strip of masking tape stick it on here um, we want to get this to precisely 15 millimeters go which is a half of 30 and I should be able to draw out if I did it right the first time that would help okay so we've got one circle and um, that's exactly the same as the objective now I need another one which is going to be thicker by the thickness of this foam, which is three millimeters. So what I need another one, which is uh, thirty-six. So what I need is eighteen millimeters. 
just so it allows for for the phone to uh, for the lip of the phone to sit in in that. I'm not sure how interesting of a video this is going to be, but anyways, I, th I was I thought I'll do something while I'm waiting for another video to finish rendering. Okay, there we go. So let's count this up. This should be 36. I turned out 38. Okay, no. That's 30. I just need to cut on the inside. And why did this turn out 38? I've done it wrong a little bit. Should be 18, not 19. To worry and yeah this is going to sit at the top uh, this in the middle so what I need is a hole in this that is exactly the size of the lens which is 21 millimeters so um, let's call it actually let's call it 20 it will fit snugly in there so I need just 10 millimeter gap in here about right and I need a slightly smaller one in here so the lens doesn't fall out so that's not exactly critical so I'm just going to eyeball it what I want to do is keep keep those circles concentric Okay, more or less that's what I want to achieve. So let me cut this out and I'll be right back. Oh, actually, um, I need also a strip. Now, at the very least, what I've got in the camera is the objective is pulled out by uh, five millimeters, just under. And uh, plus, I've got the thickness of the of the card, so I need an eight millimeter strip. So let's get a little bit more tape and I want to do an 8 millimeter strip which would be right about here this out and be back magically okay and there we go I've got all the pieces 
and I'll be using just plain old super glue to um, get it back together. So first of all, let me make sure that this yeah it fits nicely. And I should be able to fit this right in the center. Let's dab a couple of I hope super glue will glue this. I am getting sometimes quite amazed when I find something that super glue just won't touch. Uh, God forbid you get it on your fingers and that's it, but uh, there are some strange substances that super glue just does not want to uh, does not want to bond. Should be 10 seconds, right? They used to call this a 10 second glue before it was called super glue but okay now this bit so what I want to do is probably I'll glue this first into a circle Super glue, I think, is one of the most useful inventions of modern day and age, but at the same time, one of the most dangerous. Long, long time ago, using a tube like this of super glue, which, as they tend to do, uh, got clogged up in uh, at the end. Without thinking much, I tried to squeeze it harder, without being much careful, and uh, it ruptured at the back and the contents of the packet sprayed out on, on the whole of my face and that wasn't pleasant, it got into my eyes uh, I think, thankfully, at that point I had enough common sense to just get my face uh, under water so, um, yeah, I could wet my whole face, including my eyes so it d didn't glue my eyes shut and when after that uh, it was just a ton of unpleasant uh, unpleasant time at the opticians trying to take out pieces of uh, super glue solidified super glue out of my eyes and never mind the skin on my face I think the the eyes were the the most painful and terrifying at the same time. It was actually more terrifying than painful. But anyways, be careful with super glue. Okay, I'll let this dry up a little bit. Super glue is catching onto this quite nicely, so it will be holding very well. And I ended up cutting this too big anyway, so I'm just going to trim around the edges. around 
and let's see if it fits. Aha, uh -huh, success! Oops, the camera stopped recording. Anyways, success. So now I can zoom in really closely on items. Like my hand or piece of foam. Or some pesky little IC and read off the numbers off of it quite quite clearly and I can take it off in a controlled way there you go, that's an improvement Ah, a 10 minute improvement to my camera setup. I like it. If you like it, give me thumbs up or subscribe for more random stuff. And there we go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care.